I bet if we all just followed this one rule, our fighting would drastically improve overnight. Just hear me out. What if we came up with a word, like the word vulnerable, and whenever one partner came to the other and said the word vulnerable, that meant, hey, something's heavy on my heart. Can I talk to you about it and you be a safe place for me? And I get it that this takes two people, right? But you have no idea the positive impact that this could have on your relationship. If we could just have one word that caused us to pause and remind ourselves, okay, this is one of those moments where we have an opportunity to show up for each other. So part of this agreement is that the person expressing their feelings or needs would do so without yelling or criticism or blame or accusations. We don't say, you made me so mad because you're so selfish, you never do this or that. That's not being vulnerable or respectful. Instead, we say, when this happened, I felt hurt. We take accountability for our own feelings. We don't say, I feel like you don't care. That's not a feeling. We can say, I feel lonely. That's a feeling. Now, if you're on the receiving end of this, it's your job to remember, we love this person. We should actually want to know when something's on their heart, right? We don't want them to build up resentment or distance or feel like they can't come to us and share an actual feeling. This is our opportunity to remind them we want to be a safe place for them. What that looks like is that we lead with curiosity. We listen, we ask questions. What led you to feel that way? What meaning did you give those actions? What can I do to help you feel reconnected in this moment? We validate whatever feelings they're willing to share as real. Most of the time they just want us to say, I care about what you're experiencing. It's real and it makes sense why you would feel that way. I'm here and I'm listening. The opposite of that is interrupting, defending ourselves, dismissing their feelings, or invalidating their experience, which turns out is the fastest way to push them away. 